In this video, I want to quickly summarize what we've learned in the miscellaneous section. We started off with app layout. We learned that the best place to create a layout for your application is in the underscore app.js file. We then had a look at the head component, which helps you dynamically manage a document's head section. Very important from an SEO point of view. We also had a look at the image component and the optimization it provides. The image size is reduced based on the width and height specified, and the images are also lazy loaded. We then moved on to understanding how to configure absolute imports and configure path aliases with the jsconfig.json file. After that, we learned about the next export command, which exports your application into static HTML, which can be served without the need of a node server. We also learned how to set up support for TypeScript. We then learned about the awesome preview mode feature, which is really helpful when working with a CMS. We also learned about the next configuration file and how to configure redirects on the server. Finally, we had a look at Next.js support for environment variables. I hope this section has given you a good idea of some of the unique features that Next.js provides and how they can be used in your application. With that, we come to the end of this miscellaneous features section. We have one final section to cover, which is authentication in Next.js. Let's start with that in the next video. If you've enjoyed the videos so far, please do leave a like as it really helps reach out more people in the community. I'll see you in the next video.